Welcome to part one of my Uzi build. For this part, we're just gonna take the grip assembly apart and we're gonna weld in a bar. So let's get right into it. First thing we're gonna do is take off these two screws. One and two. So let's just pop it right off. Well. Alright, so now that step is done, we're going to take out this pin. So, just pull it, and it comes right out. So, next we're going to take out the grip safety spring, it just comes right out. And then we're going to take out the sear spring, or the sear pin, so just right here, just pulls out. And then this comes right out. I also suggest releasing the trigger. So take that off. And it comes up. Next, we're going to take out the trigger pin. So I'll just give it a good whack. Also, be smart to take the springs off first. See, there's two springs. And then give it a good whack. Alright, so to get it out, you have to pull the grip safety all the way back. Then it just pops right out. Give it a whack and it pops right out. So then that comes out. And then your trigger comes out. And your grip safety comes out. So now it's completely disassembled and you can now weld in your bar. I already welded in my bar. It's just, it has to be skinny enough where. It doesn't interfere with the sear, but it also has to be big enough where it just doesn't hop over like that. So now that you have your bar welded back in, that's pretty much it for the bottom side. Also, what I did is I modified my full auto sear instead of buying a semi-auto one. So you basically just have to make that flat because let me get this stretchy. All right, so you want to make it flat because the way the gun works is it's gonna ride in it like that. So you wanna make it a lot flatter than with stock, so it's just, and then good. So now we're gonna reassemble it. All right, so me personally, well, I like to put in the trigger spring first, but before anything, you need to put in the grip safety. So just slide that bad boy in, and then you can start putting shit in. So I like to, or not I like to, you have to pull it all the way back before you put in the trigger pin but before we put it in we have to get the spring right so you see this one piece just move that all the way up to prevent that from moving and then the spring goes in just like this so the u-shape goes towards the bottom and that goes towards the top so after that's in you can just slide it in remember the u-shape goes towards the bottom and then so you're gonna have two pins on your table one is going to have a half moon like that, and one's just going to be a full pin. The half moon goes towards the trigger. So, also remember your grip safety has to be back, or the half moon won't fit. So, we got it in. We're just going to take the spring, slide it through the spring, take the trigger, slide it through the trigger, and slide it through the other spring. Come on. There we go. Slide it through the other spring. Come on. And then, boom. And then from here, we're just gonna put the spring pressure back on the disconnector, so. So I finally got the one side in right there. Just, now it's a lot easier since that side's already in, so just go under like that, and that side's in. So what I like to do to get the pin in, in now is, I take a screwdriver and I, so basically you have to get the pin over the selector switch down there. So just kind of guide it over. If you can. So, get in there. So now that it's over, I like to just twist and turn until it gets all the way in there. Because just remember to guide it in and then when you're twisting and turning, it'll go in. See, now it's fully in. Next, 
we're gonna put our sear back in. So grab your sear. There's gonna be a spring in the front. Now put the spring down towards the front right here. So put it down there and then grab your pin. There's gonna be two sides. There's gonna be one with an indent like that and one where there's no. So what you wanna do is pull your grip, grip safety all the way back and the side with no indent goes left, you know, towards the left side first. So indent is on the right side. So once that's in, it just goes like that. You're gonna wanna get a screwdriver and make sure that it's perpendicular like that. Like it goes up and down. Cause if not, your grip safety is not gonna work. It doesn't work right. So what you wanna do is get perpendicular. And it works. All right, so now we're gonna put in the spring. So it doesn't really matter which side you go first. I find it easier to put it towards the pistol side and then just slide it in like that. But there's gonna be a groove right here and there's a groove in there and it just sits like that. Now we're gonna put the left side grip on. And what I find works is if you pull the grip safety down and actually push it in. So I pulled it down and pushed it in and it goes in good. And another one also goes on good. So we're just gonna put the two screws in and then we're just gonna tighten. go found a tool start turning that one and then we we'll go to this one just to make sure it's all tight so the bottom one's tight you don't want to over tighten these because it's you know you're, you're tightening into plastic with bronze and nuts so just make sure they're tight but not over tight so just check everything works grip safety works doesn't work on safe, which is good. We go to semi-automatic, good. And you wanna make sure it can't go to full auto. ATF does not like that. So mine can't go, so we're good. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.